Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Sanket Pisat. I am a consultant gynecological endoscopic surgeon practicing in Mumbai, India. And today we are going to be discussing a rather common but less talked about problem which patients sometimes come to us in the OPD with, which is called as the double uterus. So what exactly is a double uterus and is it possible for a woman to have two uteri in her body simultaneously? Well, the answer is yes and no. In order to understand what a double uterus is, it is important to understand a little bit of how the uterus forms in the human body. In embryology, that means when the uterus, when the, when the child is still in a fetus stage inside his or her mother's body, at that time, uh, there is formation of the uterus which takes place by the fusion of two tubes in the body which are called as Mullerian ducts. These two Mullerian ducts fuse in the midline or in the center of the body coming in from two sides and finally they join together to form a bag which becomes the uterus. Sometimes this fusion of ducts from the two sides is less or is not adequately uh, done and hence variations of fusion develop and this may lead to a double uterus. So a lot of classifications of double uterus are available in the literature but these are mainly for medical professionals. As far as the patient is concerned, we divide a double uterus into two main types. One is called as a septate uterus and one is called as a bicornuate uterus. The difference between these two in is primarily in the fact that in a septate uterus, the outside of the uterus looks normal, but the inside of the uterus is divided into two parts by a partition which separates the left half and the right half of the uterus. And in bicornuate uterus, it is not just the partition which separates the left and right half of the uterus, but there is actually two different uteri inside the body. One uterus representing one half of what should have been the total uterus and the other uterus representing the other half of what should have been a combined total uterus inside her body. The question now is, which of these actually requires treatment and does it require treatment first of all? It has been shown that in the septate variant, which is the variation in which the, the muscular septum or the muscular partition divides the uterus into two, these patients persistently have problems of difficulty in getting pregnant, they persistently have problems of recurrent abortions, and hence it is this sort of double uterus which definitely requires treatment. The other type of uterus, which is the double uterus, has not shown to give very good results with surgery. The surgery for a genuine double uterus also takes slightly longer time is a more difficult surgery and may not be indicated in all cases of double uterus. So if there is a genuine double uterus, then it does require some sort of further testing and assessment to find out whether or not you will actually benefit by the surgery. This can be understood by a detailed consultation with your doctor. However, if there is a septate uterus, that means there is only a partition dividing the uterus into two halves, this surgery is definitely much simpler and much faster than a genuine double uterus surgery. And this involves cutting of the septum or cutting of the partition to join the two halves of the uterus, the left half and the right half, and make it into one single uterus. Hence, once the two halves of the uterus have been joined, there is now adequate space available inside the uterus for the baby or the embryo to latch on inside the uterus and grow properly. Hence, there is a remarkable decrease in the incidence of abortions, in the incidence of fertility problems, and most patients after this surgery have got a good live birth rate even after having multiple abortions in the past. Hence, it is very important to find out before jumping into any conclusions whether or not the condition that we are calling double uterus is a septate uterus or a bicornuate uterus. This is best found out by doing a 3D ultrasound in which one is able to conclusively see whether or not there is a genuine double uterus or simply a partition dividing the uterus into two. Nevertheless, both varieties can be operated, but surgery for septate uterus 
gives much more and very rewarding results as compared to a surgery for bicordnoid uterus. And luckily for us, a septate uterus is by far very, very common as compared to a bicordnoid uterus and leads to excellent surgical results as far as fertility is concerned. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, comment section below and I will be happy to answer your queries. And if you have any questions, uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section. And if you like the video, please click on the icon above to subscribe to our channel and to keep receiving more updates. Thank you.